Alright, so let us continue. This is actually the second part or part 2 of properties of operations on integers. So, bago ka mapunta dito sa part 2, dapat napanood muna natin yung part 1 para nasusundan natin. So, this is the last 3 properties na dapat nyong malaman. So, the fifth property is the identity property. So, what do we mean by identity property? So, meron tayong ide additive identity property. Ano nga ba ito? The sum of any number and zero is the given number itself. Let's have an example. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, eto daw number na to, kahit ano daw number, ang i-add natin sa zero, the resulting sum is the given number itself. What do we mean by this? Kung ang 5 in-add mo sa zero, the result is also 5. Kung ang 8 inad natin sa 0, the result is also 8. Okay? So, ito yung tinatawag nating additive identity property where we are adding 0 to the given number and the resulting sum is the given number itself. So, anong napansin nyo? Pareho sila. Magkamukha. That's why it is called identity. Doon nang galing yung salitang identity. Kasi yung sagot natin ay kamukha kung ano yung given number niya. So, 5, the result is 5. 8, the result is 8. But take note, if you will add 0. So, ang tanong dito, kailan tayo nagkakaroon ng uh, additive identity property? So, dapat take note, ano dapat ang i-add natin sa kanya? So, para ang result niya ay identical sa kanya or ma-prove natin yung additive identity property, ano ang i-add natin sa kanya? Correct. That is 0. So, therefore, ang 0, ito yung tinatawag nating identity element ng addition. Okay? Kaya siya tinawag na identity. Identity element kasi additive identity property. So, kapag itong property na ito ang pinag-uusapan, 0 ang i-add natin or 0 is the identity element para matawag natin siyang additive identity property. Now, for multiplicative identity property, this is the product of any number and one is the given number in itself. So, kagaya rin ito, but this time, this is already multiplication kasi we are referring to the product. So, any number daw, any number na i-multiply natin sa one, the resulting product is the number itself. Let ha let's have an example. Okay, so I have here 5 times 1, that is still 5. 8 times 1, that is still 8. So, they are identical. Ibig sabihin, magkamukha, pareho. That's why it is called multiplicative identity property. Now, what makes your product similar to the given number? When we are multiplying the number by 1. So, therefore... Ano ang identity element sa multiplication? Very good. That is 1. So, the identity element for multiplication is 1. Next property is the inverse property. So, we have additive inverse property. The sum of any number and its additive inverse is 0. Let's have an example. Okay. So, as you can see, this is positive 5, this is negative 5, this is negative 8, positive 8, negative 9, positive 9. Okay, so ano ba yun, ano bang tawag natin dito sa additive inverse? Ano nga ba ito? Ito yun. Okay, so pag sinabi natin additive inverse, this is the opposite. So, what do we mean by opposite? Positive, you will add negative. Negative, you will add positive. Negative, you will add positive. Bakit add? Kasi additive. Inverse means, uh, additive inverse means positive, negative, negative, positive. Or this is the opposite. Now, anong sinasabi ng additive inverse property? Kapag nag-add daw tayo ng any number, and yung additive inverse niya o yung tinatawag din nating opposites, ito yon. The resulting sum is always 0. 
Now, if you have noticed, zero is the identity element in additive identity property. Now, let's have multiplicative inverse property. The product of any number and its multiplicative inverse or reciprocal is 1. So, this time, we are referring to multiplication since the word here is product. Okay? So, when we are multiplying any number and its multiplicative inverse o yung tinatawag natin reciprocal, the resulting product is always equal to 1. Let's have an example. Okay, paano ba kinukuha ang reciprocal? Okay, we all know that 5 is, also, is equivalent to 5 over 1. So, 5 over 1, the reciprocal is 1 over 5 or 1 fifth. Negative 8, that is, negative, that is equivalent to negative 8 over 1. So, ang reciprocal niya is 1 over 8. And 1 fourth, the reciprocal is 4. Okay, now take note. If the given number, yung tinutukoy dito na any number, ito yon. So, if this is negative, the reciprocal or yung multiplicative inverse natin should also be negative. Tatandaan yan. Kung positive naman, the reciprocal should also be positive. Okay, balikan natin yung definition. Any number and its multiplicative inverse or reciprocal, the resulting product is always equal to 1. Okay, ano nga ba yung mga multiplicative inverse? Ito yon. So, this is the reciprocal o yung tinatawag nating multiplicative inverse. Now, lilinawin ko ulit na ang additive inverse natin at multiplicative inverse ay magkaiba. Pag sinabi nating additive inverse, it's the opposite. Positive, you will add negative. Negative, you will add positive. Pag sinabi naman nating multiplicative inverse, um, yung number mo, kukunin mo yung reciprocal niya. Now, take note of your symbol, ha? If it's positive, the reciprocal is positive. If it's negative, the reciprocal is negative. Okay? And the product is always 1. So, kung mapapansin nyo, kung babalikan natin yung previous slide, 1 is the identity element in additive identity property. Okay. So, let's have the zero property of multiplication. The product of any number and 0 is always equal to 0. So, in each of these equations below, 0 is one of the factors. So, ibig sabihin kahit ano daw i-multiply natin sa uh, number, kapag minultiply natin siya sa 0, the product is always 0. That's why it is called zero property. Okay? Now, so, halimbawa, 5 times 0, that is 0. 5 times 0, that is 0. Next, balik, uh, gamitan ko ng parenthesis, 5 times 0, that is still 0. Balik ta ko siya, 0 times 5, that is still 0. So, anong gustong sabihin nito ng 0 property? Na kahit anong number ang i-multiply natin sa 0, the product is always 0. Okay? Now, take note. Tingnan nyo yung mga symbols na ginamit ko dito. I used, um, ano to, that operator. Multiplication symbol, parenthesis, so kahit ano pang symbol yan. Basta nag-multiply tayo ng zero o ginamit natin ang zero as one of the factors, kahit malaking number pa yan. Ang resulting product niya is always zero. Okay, let's have, let's try. Okay, so dapat uh, napanood nyo yung first part ng ating video tutorial para makasabay o makasagot tayo dito sa practice exercises. So, I have here, identify the property that justifies each statement. So, number 1, 15 plus negative 15. So, ano na una nating nakita? Positive negative is equal to 0. So, additive agad ito, di ba? Additive inverse. And that is additive inverse property. Another. So, 25 times 1, that is equal to 25. So, kung makikita natin, same sila. So, what do you think is the answer? Yes, that is magkamukha. So, papasok agad sa atin ng identity. Ngayon, what is the operation? Multiplication. So, multiplicative identity property. Okay, next. 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. 5 is an integer. 4 is an integer. The sum is also an integer. Ano to? That is 
closure property of addition. Next, I have here the quantity of 4 times 5 times 6. On the right side of the equation, naging 6 times the quantity of 4 times 5. So, this is commutative property of multiplication. Bakit multiplication? Kasi the operation is times. Multi uh, multiplication symbol. And then commutative kasi, okay, alam ko yung iba malilito dito. Magkakaroon ng confusion. Bakit? Kasi iisipin nila may bracket siya. So, ibig sabihin this means group. Okay? Pero kung titingnan natin mabuti, wala tayong group na pinagpalit dito. Pinagpalit lang natin sila ng order o ng pwesto. Inuna lang natin si 6, but still the grouping, yun pa din. So, this is just commutative property. Okay? And the next, we have the quantity of 2 plus 3 plus 4. On the right side, naging 2 plus the quantity of 3 plus 4. So, ano kaya ito? Dito, ang magkasama sa group ay 2 plus 3, dito naman 3 plus 4. So, obviously, this is associative property of addition. Next, I have, okay, it's very obvious. Kinuha natin ang reciprocal. So, ano ito? This is, and the resulting product is 1. This is multiplicative inverse. Okay? Multiplicative inverse property. Next, I have negative 6 times the quantity of 5 plus 3, and then naging negative 6 times 5 plus negative 6 times 3. Okay, ano ito? This is distributive property. Next. So, rewrite the given expression using the indicated property. I have 15 plus 13 is equal to, gagawin natin siyang commutative property. So, how will you do it? Yes, babalik tayo, aayusin lang natin o rearrange natin yung kanyang order. That will become 13 plus 15. Next, I have 5 times the quantity of 3 plus 2. So, is equal to? Gagawin natin siyang distributive property. So, what will be the result? That will become 5 times 3 plus 5 times 2. Another. So, I have 5 times blank. So, ano kaya ito? Kung gagawin natin siyang identity property of multiplication. So, ano, kung identity, dapat alam natin ano ang identity element ng multiplication. Yes, that is correct. 1. So, therefore, we will have 5 times 1 is equal to 5. So, identity, kasi kung any number, the resulting product is the number itself. Another, so I have the quantity of 5 plus 2 plus 3. I want you to make this associative property. So, associative means we are changing the group. So, what will it become? We will have 5 plus the quantity of 2 plus 3. Nag-change tayo ng groupings. Next, I have negative 4 times blank. So, let's have 0 property. This is very easy. So, we will just have negative 4 times 0 is equal to 0. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like. Subscribe and hit the notification bell para updated kayo for more video tutorials. This is your guide in learning your math lessons, your Walmart channel.